Hey guys, what is going on? Dylan here. I got another build for you today. We're going to be focusing on a Void Warlock build. Basically, what this build is a big ability spam uh, where we're going to be creating Void Breaches, doing finishers, making things volatile. You'll see as the video progresses, but there is a generic overlook of the build in its entirety with all the stats there. Uh, here are the mods that I use. Essentially, it's all about getting your abilities back as quickly as possible. So, um, Grenades specifically is really what you want to focus on is, is getting your grenades back quick. So the build itself, we have Nova Bomb Cataclysm. We're going to be using the Healing Rift. We're going to be doing Burst Glide. It's the best Warlock Jump. Uh, pocket Singularity for the melee. And then Scatter Grenades, which is the big part of this build. Now for Aspects, we're going to be using Feed the Void because we do want Devour for this type of build with spamming those abilities. And then Child of the Old Gods because Void Buddy is amazing. Uh, Echo of Cessation, doing a finisher, makes the nearby combatants uh, volatile. And then it also, when you defeat those volatile targets, you do create a Void Breach. Uh, defeating weakened targets creates Orbs of Power and Void Breaches, which again, Void Breaches are big with this build. Uh, Echo of Obscurity, finishers uh, grant invisibility. That kind of helps with some survivability there. And then the last fragment is going to be Echo of Undermining. Your Void Grenades weaken targets, which that is a big one right there. Because the exotic that we're going to be using is Nothing Manacles, which gives you um, enhanced scatter grenades. So you get two of them, and I believe they come back quicker as well. They have you know additional perks and things like that. Now for the weapons, we want to use something with Destabilizing Rounds, or you can use something with Demolitionist. Both are fine, but I prefer Destabilizing Rounds. So I have... Uh, the Waveframe is typically what I use more so, but you can also use something like an Age Old Bond or whatever, as long as it has Destabilizing Rounds. And so how this works is if you notice there's an enemy that's weak, you can use a finisher. And what that does is that sends that burst out like that and then makes everything volatile, which ad, which helps with uh, ad clear. But kind of how you want to enter into a fight with this is you want to throw your scatter grenades at an enemy to weaken it and then follow up with your uh, wave frame or whatever weapon you use that has that uh, destabilizing rounds on it. Um, so lots of grenade throwing, lots of spamming. There's, you see, I'm just creating tons of void breaches. The scatter grenades help with weakening like bosses and things like that. And then when you create things that are volatile, that helps with ad clear. So I really feel this is a great all around class that you can use. You obviously have cataclysm for the Nova Bomb for damaging and things like that. Um, but basically, you're just uh, spamming your abilities as much as possible. So finishers when you can, because you could be invisible and um, make other things become volatile. But if you can see here, I have Devour proc, which is fantastic for staying alive. It's just it's a great build overall. Uh, I, I feel like it's not a it's 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 not a master of one. It's really a jack of all trades sort of build, and this is one that I frequently use quite a bit. So, for example, my stasis build is mainly for ad clear. The Solar Grenade one is kind of for ad clear. This one I really feel like is an everything sort of build. And it really is good for all situations. So that's really all I got for you in this video. Just spam all abilities <laughs> is the name of the game with this build. And you pretty much got it. Um, but I'm going to leave the footage running here. And so you guys can see more of how the build works and how I use it. But just remember, throw every grenade. Use every ability and then finishers when possible, especially in large groups of enemies to make everything volatile and explode. So, all right, that's all I got for y'all. Thank you all for watching. Try this build out for yourself. See how you like it. Let me know in the comments and subscribe and follow the Discord. See y'all later. Love you. Goodbye.